Capricorn. Welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. Thank you for all the support on the channel. Please remember this cannot connect to every single Capricorn out there. So take what you can use and leave what doesn't connect with you. And you can vice versa the masculine feminine energies on the cards. So if it would be a prince to you and I say it's a princess, just vice versa that masculine feminine energy. And... So this is going to be from the 8th to the 14th of 2021 for February. So the first one that comes out for you is relationships. I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So this automatically tells me you're healing from some sort of relationship. So it's a really intricate pattern. I feel like you're learning with every relationship you go through. You learn something new about yourself and that's kind of what relationships are for everybody. You learn more of what you want, what you don't want, what you will accept, and what you won't accept. So there's some sort of healing for you from relationships. So the next one is envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. So I feel like you have a lot of envy towards other people and their relationships of some sort. I'm not really sure why, but that's what I'm feeling. There's a lot of envy around you right now. Maybe because your relationship isn't as good as somebody around you or you're not in the relationship you want to be in something of that sort and the next one is regret I know that I cannot change the past so regret is a very very difficult energy to be in I always say it's best to feel all the emotions you feel and then that's how you can release them is feeling them and a lot of emotions are not pleasant to feel so regret and envy, I suggest uh, my viewers to write a pros and cons of positive and negatives, why you have the envy and why you have the re regret, and try and critique the list. Like go down the list, you don't have to do it all in one day, you could take a few days, you could take a month, you could take a couple weeks to decipher this code. And I do feel like it's a code from seeing this. So there's some sort of code within you that you can learn how to let go of regret and not have it come up in your life so much in a relationship and how you can release envy. But you have to look within yourself, Capricorn, to figure out why you keep downloading that code in every relationship to your DNA and your genes, your thought process, something like that. So look at this. The first card you have is the world card. This is beautiful. So something is changing for you. There is going to be a big change. This usually means faded from the universe. I see an angel up there pouring like water or sprinkles down on somebody. I see the lion, which would be Leo. And I see the wreath could mean marriage. So this is good. You are desiring a marriage relationship is what I'm feeling a lot of you. So the next one is Four of Swords. So Four of Swords, and these are all the Oracle cards are all for you, and these are the Tarot, if I didn't say that. These are the energies around you, but you'll show up over here as well. So Four of Swords could be somebody who misses you terribly, and they think a lot about you. I feel like they pray for you. Um, they just think about you a lot when they're in their religious part or spiritual part of their day. I really do feel like that. So then you have the devil. So here's your card, Capricorn. So this could be your placement, or this could be addictions. I feel like it could have something to do. Because I'm being drawn to the two people there, I'm being drawn to relationships. So something about you is some kind of toxicity when you get in relationships. So Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles usually means juggling two people. This usually means that you maybe feel like you cannot be with one person. You always have to be have a backup or you always have to have somebody, um, two people, to make you feel whole to be able to give to two people. You can't do just one person. So Three of Cups is more confirmation about a third party. This is happiness when nobody knows there's three people in the relationship is what this is to me. So the next one is Nine of Pentacles. So Nine of Pentacles says there's somebody around you who is very strong. I feel like it's one of these persons that you're in a relationship with is very good at the Pentacles. They're very good at bringing coins into them. They can stand there by themselves, take care of themselves. I feel like they have a very powerful 
view of their life and what they want their life to be like. And I feel like you almost don't understand how they can be that way. So this is the High Priestess. So this is somebody who's very high intuition. This is almost basically psychic. Somebody who was allowed to bring past life information in and it, they just have a lot of intuition. So I feel like one of these persons you were messing with pretty much knew something was going on. So Two of Cups. So somebody loves somebody in this relationship. I don't know if it's the High Priestess that was in love or you were in love. But somebody was totally in love. So I do feel like, now that I'm looking at this, you came in and swept this person off their feet. You came in, swept them off their feet. You offered your love. They offered you their love. Nine of Cups. And you felt really good about that. You felt like you were on cloud nine. Your pride and ego went up from being able to sweep this person off their feet and get them to love you. So Queen of Wands. Now we have another Queen in here. We have a lot. So Queen of Wands is somebody who's very happy. You see the sunflowers around her. You see the black cat bass. You see she has a wand. She has the green. Anything this Queen touches to me as an action Queen pretty much turns to gold. She has like the Midas touch. She's very full of new ideas. She moves through life very happy. The next one is judgment. Wow. So I feel like she made a judgment on how you were treating her or the universe stepped in and told her she had to make a judgment. So I do feel like she felt like you were with her just for a notch on your pride and ego, so to speak. So she, let's see what the next one is, two of swords. So somebody was in denial. Somebody was in denial. They didn't want to see the secrets. They didn't want to feel the emotions. They were like blocked. I'm not going to deal with this. I'm not going to see that I'm messing around with two people. She's not going to find out. So King of Cups. King of Cups is very loving, but to me he is a plotting king. Look at how his hands are. He's the king who's not offering the cup, which in most decks the king is, this is the king of love, and he's offering the cup to somebody he loves. In this deck he's plotting. He's saying, come get the cup. Come on, come get it. So I feel like this king is very manipulative. He knows it. We have the Ten of Cups. So somebody saw a Ten of Cups in this relationship. Somebody saw a family structure, a marriage, somebody they loved. So then we have the King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles is somebody who's very good at money, could be a business owner. This person needs fluffed up, though. I feel like they come in showing off. Like, oh, look at me. Look at my watch. Look at my car. Three of Pentacles, you could have met this person at a workplace, is what this says. Could have been work. So now I'm going to switch to the Mystical Cat Tarot. Alright, so the first one is Nine of Skies. So somebody is really stressed out. Somebody can't sleep. They're very regretful of the way this played out. So five of fire. This is conflict. Somebody is conflicted in their thinking process. Their life is conflict. Their people around them cause conflict. There's a lot of conflict and stressful. And I feel like it's you, Capricorn. So nine of C. So nine of C, there's a lot of nines in here. Somebody saw you as their happiness. They thought you were going to move forward with them in abundance. They thought you had your emotions in check. They saw a lot of things about you that were really, really good and wonderful to them. Ooh, but the moon, Pisces placement. But you kept secrets from this person. You kept secrets. You lied. I feel like you very secretive. You can reverse the roles. If this isn't you, Capricorn, you can switch the roles to this was the other person did to you. But I'm feeling like it's you. So Seven of Fire tells me you made this person feel very defensive. You came at them when they came at you about what you were doing and you tried to turn it around on them. And you, it seems like you have people coming at this person with you. So you incorporated other people to cause conflict towards this person. So the Empress. So this person was an Empress 
This person is very nurturing, very loving. Again, she has the Midas touch when she touches things. It is beautiful. She's very motherly. The animals like her. The children like her. Most people like her. And she has her back to defending herself. She has her back to the people causing drama. So I feel like she just left. It's like, I can't do this. I'm not going to do this anymore. So, Eight of C is being somebody that was selfish. So, I do feel like somebody was selfish to try and take from the Empress and break her down, so to speak. So, I'm going to switch to the Oracle of E. Let me see what came up next. So, yeah, selfishness, immaturity is what I feel. So, let me switch to the Oracle of E cards now. And empresses usually don't chase people. So an empress, you have to chase and go after her. She's not going to just be out there flirting and trying to get a boyfriend or trying to get somebody to marry her. The empress lets people come to her because she's been, what's it, preconditioned in heaven that she is special, that she vibrates at a higher frequency, so to speak, and that she doesn't come down here and play games. She doesn't try to hurt people. So the Oracle of E is Open Your Presence 33. So something is coming full circle that is benefiting you. So you have some presence coming towards you. GPS. So this is saying that you are where you're supposed to be. Global Positioning Satellite System or something like that. And I see the healing in the purple. I see the energy here which is like fire. And six usually means moving forward from a change. So you're going to be happy. You're moving on from this. This happened for you to learn something. You something you're supposed to learn about yourself from the situation and from scratch. So you have six twice. Where you're supposed to be healing and learning and going towards your son again. So you're going to, I feel like you're going to start over at love or something of that sort. You see it differently now, I feel. You see... It way different from this and you're moving towards your happiness and your son different than you were before so I feel like you're going at relationships differently now you're trying to be learning from whatever you learned from the past relationships up until now so whispers of the ocean is breakthrough to new dimensions 25 a new endeavor is on the horizon Innovative energy wants to burst forth into your consciousness. So this is Migaloo and Migaloo Jr. They're considered lucky when they're seen in Australia. They're the albino white um, whales. So because it's nighttime and I see the stars up there, I feel like you're wishing almost for something to change. You're wishing for a light to shine and a new horizon, something new to start all over again. And the next one is Polite Declaration 10. You can move in whatever direction you need to to accomplish your goals. It is time for you to get out there, claim what is yours, and stay in your power. So this is your heart chakra with a lot of passion. This is one of my favorite cards. I think he's so cute with his eyes and just the way he looks. So this says 10 is an ending. So you're ending something. Hopefully you're ending the envy, the regret. And you're going to go in a new direction that is going to light you up and make you shine. I feel like good luck is coming to you. Some sort of good luck with the presence and this with the light. There's something that is going to happen to you or for you that is going to bring you like a present. Some kind of luck is coming towards you. Capricorn. So angels and ancestors is medicine mother honor your inner knowing. So this is the infinity symbol there, which is a uh, lifetime, forever, always. And uh, this to me is sunflower um, petals on her head So and the third eye. So I do feel like there's something around a mother situation that you have more instincts from this person. It's making me draw to these two cards, the empress and the mother. I feel like this person somehow taught you to be more aware of your instincts more of what you desire without going to the dark side if that makes sense so the next one is air guardian shift your perception so this talks about shifting one thing that you think about can change your whole life and there's something that can make you look at things differently to make you shine to make you feel like 
you're beautiful. So I feel like you are lacking some sort of self-confidence in yourself is what I feel. Because here she has the flower petals, the infinity, and a lot of um, symbols that are like past knowing. And then over here she's bringing it into the now where she's bringing the beautiful headpiece with the stone in there and the necklace. So I feel like what you know inside you can change you and make you beautiful. There's something about you you need to change in the way you look at relationships, Capricorn, that can move you into a different feeling, a different emotion, a different light, a different level of relationships. You just have to change something at the way you're looking at something. So thank you so much. Thank you for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Bless you, Capricorn.